I'd like to do a series in Advent called The Spiritual Meaning of Christmas Specials. So think about some of the Christmas specials that you've watched over the years or some of those movies that we see. Lots of times there is a meaning there uh, that might be a little more deeper than people might realize at first. What I'd like to reflect on with you today is a Charlie Brown Christmas. This came out in 1965. I remember watching it as I was growing up. It was like part of what we did for Christmas and all. And in it, as it starts, Charlie Brown is experiencing what we might call the holiday blues. Uh, in more elevated language, we could call that some existential angst. What's the meaning of Christmas? He's trying to sort that out. He is disillusioned by commercialism. He is disillusioned by greed. And he's put in charge of the Christmas pageant. And things just seem to go from bad to worse. And he is still struggling to figure out what Christmas is about. And then Linus goes on stage and he recites the nativity account from chapter two of St. Luke's gospel. A decree went out from Caesar Augustus and so forth. And when he comes to the part about do not be afraid, he drops his security blanket. It's as if he doesn't need it anymore. And then at the end he says, Charlie Brown, that is what Christmas is all about. And even back in 1965, that was a bit controversial. The, pe the producers, the directors of this special, honestly thought it was going to be a bomb. Well, it won an Emmy. It won a Peabody Award as well. Charles Schultz insisted on that scripture reading. And even back in 1965, they thought, well, maybe that's too religious or something. I mean, talking about the birth of Christ at Christmas, you know, they were a little worried about that. But obviously it's become a Christmas classic. And so often in stories, just any stories that we read or watch, there is a theme of conversion. Now, Charlie Brown doesn't necessarily experience conversion. What he does experience, though, is a discovery of the meaning of Christmas. And if you're experiencing some of that existential angst or disillusionment or holiday blues, well, read the second chapter of Luke's gospel. Read the first chapter of St. John's gospel. St. John's gospel is the one in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. And then the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. That's the gospel we hear on Christmas Day. The gospel from the second chapter of Luke that Linus recites is what we hear on Christmas Eve in the evening masses. And so the Charlie Brown Christmas special is really a wonderful show to watch. It's got some wonderful original music as well. And there is some conversion that takes place in all of it. So Charlie Brown's friends who were really making fun of him or deriding him ultimately come to realize, well, maybe they shouldn't have done that. So they go to him and they fix up that uh, dismal little Christmas tree that he bought and they cry out, Merry Christmas, Charlie Brown. And they start to sing, Hark the Herald, Hark the Herald Angels Sing. So a wonderful message there. You could say they experience some conversion. They experience at least some repentance. That's what John the Baptist calls us to during Advent. So as we prepare for Christmas, maybe we can think about some people that we have not been kind to. And maybe there's things we can do to rectify the wrong that we have done. And during this Advent season, we ask for the grace that our hearts may be awake. Our hearts might be awake to see the deeper spiritual message in things, including those Christmas specials and those Christmas movies, and in all the events of our daily life. Again, a very blessed Advent to everyone.